Hey guys, I just want to start off by saying, the moment you clicked on this video, your dick grew two inches bigger, congratulations, you deserve it. So these are some quality of life tips I'm going to be giving you guys, four new players from a new player. And I know what you guys are thinking, if you're a new player, what can you teach me? Well, let me tell you, I might be a new player, but I've sunk in so much hours into this game and I've been playing for a little over a month now. And maybe that makes me not a new player, but I do believe I have a lot of things to tell you guys that might help you out. So with that out of the way, let's jump in. Tip number one is a real banger. Do quests. And I know how that sounds, it's very obvious. But also I know that this game can get extremely overwhelming with all the quests that are in here. And I'm extremely OCD about that. So each town I go into, how I handle it, is I won't leave that town until I've done every quest. And I have recently realized that when you go back to those towns, sometimes they have new quests. I don't know if it's based off of your level or based off of your knowledge or what, but that is a thing. Like here's my quest log right now. Um, you can see I keep it very clean. Like I don't let this thing gather up. I mean, I've done all my black spirit quests now and I did that yesterday. So it looks even more clean than before. But yeah, I thought that would be really useful because it might get overwhelming, but they do end eventually. Another thing I want to throw in here is um, if you're having trouble with inventory space, you do get a lot of inventory space expansions from the Black Spirit quest, but there's one thing the game does not tell you about. So when you're at this quest screen that you get to by holding L2 down, you hit R1, R1, and go to Suggested. You'll see that it says Inventory Expansions. These are quests that you can do to get more space at the bottom left you can see it has a little inventory icon that's a really easy way to get this i haven't even done them yet because i just learned about this and now i have something to do um like for example let's go to a spot i know where one of these are i think it's the sandfish one so this one's really close i'm in belia right now so let's run over to the quest giver So once you're to the otter looking guy, <laughs> um, you talk to him and I'm pretty sure if you don't have the quest taking you to him, this quest actually won't show up. I could be wrong. I know I could take two seconds and find out, but I'm lazy so I'm not gonna. So after you have the quest, just accept it and you're on your merry way to having more inventory space. The reason you're doing these quests are so you can get new armor, new weapons, and a bunch of materials that are really going to help you on your journey. Because in the end you do want to save your black stones, so then when you get to the point where you need to upgrade, you have them. Don't sell them because you will regret it. So another tip is, store things in the marketplace, especially things you use a lot. Because um the marketplace shares between all the cities, so things that are heavy like black stones, that can stack up over time. You do get a lot of them doing missions and just grinding mobs. We're going to store those in our marketplace. Things like gems. Maybe you want to save your gems and don't want to grind them up for black powder. So we're going to put our gems in here too as well. And um, it just really makes your inventory look a lot cleaner. Right now my inventory is kind of a clusterfuck. But you know what? Who cares? Pro tip here guys. So I know for the longest time I could not remember what I was storing in what city. Or I couldn't remember where I, what stable I had my horse at. So just recently, I learned that if you go to a city, like let's just start with Velia. Oh my god, I was calling it Velo this whole time, wow. Okay, anyways, when you click on it with X, and then you go up to this little enter, you enter the city, and at the top right you see triangle menu, or men menu triangle, whatever you want to say, it doesn't matter. And you can see purchase house, stable, warehouse, transport. So you can see anything in your warehouse. You can do this at any city. I'll show you another city. You can also do it with the stable. It doesn't matter. And um, so let's back out of that. And let's check out what I have in Kelfion. This is my other city I like to go to. And so you do that, hit triangle and warehouse. You can see your warehouse. There's no more hopping characters to whatever is closest to the city you wanna look at. Cause that can take up a lot of time 
and I know it, it has taken up multiple hours for me. So you meet this alchemist in Velia in one of the early Black Spirit quests. And I don't think they explain this to you at all in any mission, but maybe they do. But if you hold triangle on him and go to exchange, you can exchange for little energy potions that let you use it later. So like if you're holding on to a bunch of energy and you don't know what to do with it, come to this guy so you can get more energy while you play the game and then also have your energy potion. As soon as you exchange, it goes right into your inventory. And like right here, I exchanged earlier today. That's why I didn't just exchange now. But now I have 50 energy being saved and I can sell it in the marketplace if I want to or I can hold on to it. Very helpful. So did you guys know there's a way to zoom in on them titty, I mean character? You can zoom in on your character is what I meant to say, my bad. Um, So first things first, you go to beauty album, wait for that to load, you hit triangle, and then you just hit X on this and you go into photo mode. So I know, it's pretty obvious, you can zoom in on your character and whatever you leave it off at it will save actually to your game so right now this is how zoomed in we are <laughs> a little ridiculous but if you want to maybe have it zoomed out more all you do is the same exact thing and then you zoom all the way out okay i guess this is as far as we can go that's pretty far and yeah now you're here and the camera working is pretty nice this is nice when, I don't know, you just like games and you're more zoomed out, I guess. It's kind of a personal preference, honestly. My final tip is when you're at the pearl shop, once in a while, go to loyalties and scroll all the way down until you see a loyalty thing that costs one loyalty. These are always worth purchasing. You get some good stuff and it's random every event. I think they appear every event. You can only buy them once, but as you can see, I got a lot of things this time. And it's pretty awesome. Okay, so that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed or learned anything, let me know down in the comments. And if there's any tips that I left out, make sure you let me know down in the comments. Leave a sub, like, or comment if you want to see more of this in the future. And I'll see you next time. Peace.